Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Physics Games. Today's tip and trick is basically going through how you make your own map in Seven Days to Die. Rather than having to use the defaults, we begin by clicking on New Game. And when we're there, we choose the game world, New Random World. By default, it gives you the game name, My Game, and you will want to change this to anything that you wish at all. It then shows you a generated world name, West I'm not even going to try and say that, and a world size, and this is an 8K map. All you have to do now is hit start, and it will make the game for you. But we have some other options. We can put a world generation seed in. So if we were to type in a world generation seed, let's pick something completely random, like the word random, and therefore you can see the generated world name has changed. We can also pick six, eight or 10K map. And again, we just hit start. We can also do the advanced generation by clicking on this button. And within here, again, we will need a world seed. So we'll put in the word random. And again, we can pick 6K, 8K or 10K. And this is going to generate a world. Now we have some options for towns, wilderness, points of interest, rivers, craters, cracks, lakes, and we have the option of having the default, none, a few, or many. And we can mess around with this and see what we get. You can click a level from up to 0 to 10 for how many planes you want. You can increase or decrease the amount of hills and mountains too. And if you just like some randomness in there, then just go crazy. And then if we click Generate World, it's going to show us a preview in this screen. So let's do that, and then I'll show you how to look around that little map it produces. So if you go and head off and get a cup of tea, when you get back, you should be ready to go. So when the map has finished generating, we can see this preview on the right-hand side. And if we hold our right mouse button down, on the image we see, we can then start to move about and look around. By using our W, A, S, and D keys, we can fly around, and uh, we can use our mouse to also turn our head as we look around. We can see where the mountains are, where the roads are, and also where the towns will be too. By pressing space, we end up flying higher in the sky, and by holding control, we also go back down. And we can see the different biomes. We can see the wasteland, the forest, the desert here, and also in this corner, the snow zone. And we can examine what it looks like and where the towns are placed, and if we wish to play this map. So if you like the generation, then all you have to do is hit back, and then change where it says new random world. You just need to head over to your new map with the name South Epony Valley, which we saw at the very top in the generation. And we can give it a name. And then when we hit start, we end up heading into game. And here we are in game, fantastic. Let's get debug menu on. Let's fly up into the sky and let's see what it looks like in reality. I just zoom really high and look over, we can see, well, not much because the fog is on. But if I type weather fog zero, then we remove that and we can see everything that we saw on map. So right over here should be the good old snow zone. There's our wasteland, as we saw in the preview map, and the deserts over here with towns intermittently placed in a random formation based on the options that you picked. Well, it all looks rather lovely and I'd love to get into games. So if you wish to hit like and subscribe, that would be doing me a huge favor because we've got tons of videos coming out most days. Join me on at the Discord. Links are below and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.